Last Friday, fuel stations across the island increased prices of fuel following a notice from the Ministry of Finance. During the day, however, the Ceylon Petroleum Corporation issued a circular informing its regional officers to leave the fuel prices unchanged and sell fuel at the prices which existed the day before. Lanka IOC, however, did not follow the CPC and pumped fuel at revised prices. It was in this confusing backdrop that the Ministry of Finance and Mass Media issued a communique later in the day on Friday stating that fuel prices were revised according to the powers vested in the committee appointed on the fuel pricing formula. The ministry went on to say that a definite decision will also be taken at the next cabinet meeting regarding the fuel prices of the CPC. Following these developments on Friday, the Ceylon Petroleum Corporation increased fuel prices with effect from last midnight. It is noteworthy that the margins of the newly increased fuel prices are in fact the same as those which were announced and later withdrawn on Friday through a circular. Accordingly, the price of a litre of 92 octane petrol was increased to 145 rupees, a hike of 8 rupees from the previous price of 137 rupees. Price of a litre of octane 95 petrol was increased by 7 rupees to 155 rupees. The price of a litre of diesel was increased by 9 rupees to 118 rupees, while the price of a litre of super diesel was increased by 10 rupees to 129 rupees. As soon as CPC's decision was made public last night, long queues were seen at refueling stations across the country. Meanwhile, the issue was also given substantial focus during the cabinet media briefing today. Increased prices were never reduced again. Since no one else understood what the situation was, the finance minister took action to halt implementing the decision until it reaches the cabinet. They had earlier taken the approval of the cabinet to implement the pricing formula from the 5th of July. Meanwhile, President of the All Island Private Bus Owners Association, Gamun Vijayaratna, said that a formula related to bus fares must also be maintained by the finance ministry. When the fares were hiked last time around, we accused the Deputy Minister of Transportation. Now we don't have the power to either increase or decrease bus fares as we see fit. Because the Cabinet gave its approval to stop bus fare changes for the next two years following the 12.5% hike. It is the common people who travel in these buses, and if we keep increasing fares because of fuel prices, the public will be inconvenienced. So the Ministry of Finance should also maintain a pricing formula related to bus fares, which should be implemented parallel to the fuel price changes. They increased the prices on the 5th of July, and by the next day, the government was able to loot a lot of money from three-wheeler professionals. We understand that we can't increase fares because the public will be inconvenienced. But for three-wheeler professionals to cover their expenses and make a profit, the fare for the first kilometre should be increased to at least 80 rupees. That's why we propose the government that it arrives at a solution which would be fair to both three-wheeler professionals as well as the public. Also speaking exclusively to First at Nine, State Minister of Finance, Iran Vikramaratna, spoke on the importance of having a fuel pricing formula. We are following international practice in that the price at the oil pump should reflect international prices. And therefore, when the oil, international oil prices go down, uh, the consumer must receive the benefit of it. When the international oil prices go up, then the consumer has a decision to make of how much the consumer may consume. And that's exactly what we have done through the full price formula. We're really empowering the consumer to make his decisions. The price of petrol is still cheaper than many countries in the region. Still, with the exception of Nepal, even the price of diesel in Bangladesh and India are higher than the prices in Sri Lanka. Now, the argument of the government is that full price must be fixed to the world crude oil prices. Now this graph shows, particularly during the last four years of the previous government, the world crude oil prices were around 110 US dollars per barrel. Then in January, there was a sharp drop. And thereafter, even though the prices started increasing again, you can see, even to date, the world fuel prices are far below the prices we had in 2014. According to this comparison, the government should be able to give fuel at a much lower price than what they are charging today. So then, why is the prices going up? The obvious reason is the rupee has devalued. Over the last three and a half years, Sri Lankan rupee under the current government has devalued by almost 22%.
Also, we have information that the taxes also have been increased by about 10 rupees per litre. If not for these reasons, government should have been able to give fuel much lower prices than today.